Zephyr Hacked Client, also known as Ambrosial.exe, has sadly been discontinued, which means it won't be updated to 1.20, for example, or any other versions. However, there is still a way you can use this, and I'm going to show you exactly how in today's video. If you want to learn more about why and how Zephyr was discontinued, then I have a video on that, which I will link in the description. So you might be wondering how we can actually, you know, launch it without it having updated. And well, we are not going to update um, Zephyr Hat Client. We're going to downgrade our Minecraft so we can use it. And don't worry, you should still be able to, jo to join any servers and stuff like that. However, remember, don't hack on servers, guys, because the only thing that's going to get you is banned. Anyways, you want to go to this link, which is down in the description, and um, this is Bedrock Launcher Lite. That's the tool we're going to be using to do this, and you want to click on Download over here. Um, now, you can just click on OK if that pops up, and as you can see in the bottom left of my screen, it is starting to download. Now, do keep in mind that you will need a valid version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition installed on your device for this to work. So now we have the Bedrock Launcher set up in our downloads. We can double click on that and then we want to click on extract over here. It's automatically going to extract and you should be left with a folder. You want to open up that folder and, and then over here you just want to click on start bedrock launcher dot exe. You want to click on it just like that there and it's automatically going to open like so. Um, and now it, it might need to install or something like that it might install something but that is fine either way it should eventually open up like this uh, then you want to just click on next over here over here you also just want to click on next and then you want to choose your account once you've chosen your account you'll go over here then you want to click on finish just like that it is fine then over here it's just going to load up some data and now we have a bedrock launcher available to us and now you might see that this looks very familiar to a launcher you might know that's right it's uh, it's very similar to the regular java edition launcher anyways we want to go over to installations tab right up here and there's a bunch of installations here you want to go over to new installation and you can call this anything you want you can for example just call it zephyr and what you want to do is you want to select um, 1.19.70.2 this one right over here that is the one you want to select yeah this is this exactly this one not 1.19.71.2 or 73.2 not those 1.19.70.2 and they want to click on create so we got then go over to the play tab and um over here, select the uh, the version that the the installation that you just created, and then you want to click on play right here. And now it is going to need to download all that, um, but don't worry, that's only because you're launching it for the first time. The next time that you launch it, it won't need to download anything. Here, as you can see, it is now done downloading, and then it might need to do one or two more things. But you know, once it's done downloading, you're basically going to be ready to go. As you can see, it's a launching right now. This is just the generic Minecraft launch screen, as you can see. And once it's loaded up, it's going to be regular Minecraft. However, you will just need to log in once again. Once you have signed in, I recommend that you subscribe to this channel, because I just helped you out and taught you how to do this, so that would be pretty cool. And I have much more content on stuff like this, so that's... Nice, I appreciate it. Anyways, you can also launch the um, Ambrosial Hack Client thing, um, which if you don't have, I'll link in the description, as well as with probably an entire tutorial on how to set this up. However, um, I'm going to assume that you might already have it, and if you don't, as I said, I'll link the download for this, as well as a tutorial on how to install it, if you need it in the description. Anyways, you want to select the top version here, which is 1.19.70, as you can see this top version of Zephyr 1.19.70 and we can click on launch here and as you can see it is automatically going to open up for us here and in the last video some people got confused I did not click it away I just clicked on the minus button if you just 
click on the red X and click it away, then it's going to stop working. So uh, basically, you're, if you're launching it for the first time here, you're just going to get this um, update menu. So that's fine. And now right here, we have a Zephyr Hack client. So now that it's been injected, you can basically just use it however you want it to. Now do note that you might have some troubles joining certain multiplayer games um, if you are not in the same version of Minecraft. However, you can still join people who have the same version as you. And you should be able to join a lot of servers still as well, as servers will usually work for some previous versions of Minecraft as well. Anyways, that was basically it. And one last thing, when you click on play, Realms is probably going to be loading forever and you won't have any worlds here. And to fix that, it's not actually very hard. You want to go to the three um, dots right over there. Then um, you want to scroll up just like this and click on the versions FAQ. Then go back and that'll bring you to this menu here. And I'll link this entire menu probably in the description. You want to click on your data and now here you've got a bunch of questions that you might have and you can basically just easily open these up and you'll find whole um, just a, a quick and easy to follow tutorial on how to bring your worlds back so if you're confused about that then all the data will be right here and I will link this in the description too anyways basically that was that though for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I definitely hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.